to the ladies' room, the Republican women and the Democrat women, and we just roll our eyes at what's yeah. being said out there. And the Republican women said when we were fighting on the health care bill, if we sent the men home, we could get the <laughs> So what that congresswoman said, Congresswoman Shea Porter, if we sent the men home, we could get this health care bill done. And now she's facing a lot of scrutiny from both men and women on Capitol Hill. We invited her to appear on the show this morning, but she did decline. So I am joined now by Republican Congresswoman from Wyoming, Cynthia Lummis. Good morning to you, Congresswoman. Good morning, Gretchen. How are you? I'm doing uh, just fine. So uh, this is a new wrinkle in the whole health care discussion. When you heard that Congresswoman Shea Porter had mentioned that this whole health care debate could be done if we just sent the men home, what was your first reaction? <laughs> well, I, I laughed because the fact of the matter is our problem with the bill was 110 go new government agencies, was seven years of benefits for 10 years of tax dollars from hard-working Americans, and the fact that uh, we didn't get to read the bill. So this had nothing to do with gender in your mind, why you didn't like the health care reform bill? Nothing at all. And, of course, it was drafted by a woman and her close cadre of liberal friends. Nancy Pelosi drafted the bill. So I think if you sent all the men home and left the Republican women and the Democratic women and Nancy Pelosi, we'd still be in the room arguing about this. So after this controversy erupted after Shea Porter's comments, she had this statement. When Congresswoman Shea Porter mentioned that the Republican Congresswoman had said both men and women at the town hall laughed because they knew the women were speaking lightly and with humor. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that statement means, but by the way, she said that uh, all the women in Congress had agreed with this because they had had a conversation in the restroom about this. Do you remember that? <laughs> Not at all. We have a great meeting place. It's called the Lindy Boggs Reading Room where the women can go to gather. It's uh, the former speaker's house in the old part of the Capitol building. Uh, but uh, that conversation never occurred. So Shea Porter says this. She said that the reason she feels that women could get this health care done better than men is because women have greater family responsibilities when it comes to health care. Do you at least agree with her on that? Well, I do agree that women are the uh, caregivers in this country, and they make a lot of health care decisions for their families. But they also have differences of opinion about what government's role should be in their lives. Fact of the matter is, I think most women agree with the Republicans that this is not an area where a big government intrusion is necessary. We actually need government to get out of the way of people and support only those who really, truly can't afford it or have pre-existing conditions. We should start with those small issues first, not try to kill this fly with a baseball bat. All right. Uh, Congresswoman Cynthia Lummis, interesting to get your thoughts on these comments this morning. Thanks for being our guest. Happy to. Take care. Thank you. Is President Obama